to number nine. Uh, number nine now, let's start geotagging uh, US Army map. So, I'm gonna use a utility which is called OZ Explorer. One very useful uh, tool that allows you to manipulate maps, I mean, do all kinds of manipulations and things with maps is OZ Explorer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna import this JPEG file, this dummy JPEG file, and I'm gonna geo uh, tag it. So that basically means I'm gonna scale it to know exactly what are the latitude and the longitude coordinates on that map. So import map. Just a second. Tuk tuk tuk. Load from file. You see somewhere load image or something? Yeah, this will be the one I think. So let me go. I can take any map now. I mean, any JPEG file of of. Uh, OZ Explorer, OZI Explorer, or I don't know the pronunciation. I'm only using it for uh, geotagging. I mean, georeferencing. Maps, um, US is 400, I think, or oh, no. Let's go to Downloads, Old, and let's go to this uh, ND, I think is the name, yeah. Okay, ND. Okay, they can only load BMP files, no issues. It's an evaluation version, so I guess some of the features will be restricted. So let me just import this uh, JPEG file and convert it to a bitmap. And you are just making it a little painful for us, so we would buy this program. Let me just save it as a bitmap, and then uh, kind of georeference the map. BMP, please. Yeah. Okay, I'll save it on the C drive. Boom. So we have now the Windows bitmap format. Let's go to Aussie Explorer, and now load this map I mean whatever I'm using here are all kind of shareware or evaluation version so you don't really need to pay anything in order to explore okay so this program has now imported this map and now I can actually uh, now I can actually indicate two points in the evaluation version of OZ Explorer I can indicate two points so I'm gonna take two extreme points either like say top left and bottom right or top right and uh, and the opposite direction. So in this case, let me take this position here. So I will take point one. I'm gonna exactly go to this location here, click. So these will be the pixels, 116 pixels from the left side, 156 pixels from uh, the, the bottom. Uh, what is the location of that? Latitude is uh, 14 degrees, zero, zero minutes. It's north indeed, we are going above the equator. And the longitude is uh, 79 degrees. So I'm just putting 79, zero, zero minutes there, remember what we saw. And it's not west, it's not towards the US, it's towards Asia, so it's east of London, east. So this is one point, right? To have proper scaling, we'll need at least two points, so I'm going to indicate the second point now. Um, okay, I can scroll, luckily. So let me take the bottom. The bottom will be, remember, 80 degrees, 30 minutes. Ah, okay, I got it here again. So the second point here at the bottom right of my map, bang, this will be 80 degrees and 30 minutes. So that means the total uh, distance on this map was uh, one degree and 30 minutes, right? So, which is a fairly significant portion. That means it's total, total 90 minutes, which means 90 miles, which means 130 kilometers or something. So, the US have actually cut India into like fine, how much? Yeah, east, so I've been correct. And then the latitude above the equator, remember we are 13 degrees again here. Zero, zero. Okay, and now I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna save a map file. 
I'll put it in the same location. Okay. Close. And now let's take a look. Let's open this map file. This map file is going to be a text file. That will actually contain the same information what we just visually indicated. Let's open this in a text editor. So it's basically going to show you what we inputted. We have inputted two reference points. So we have basically converted the bit, the pixels, right, the points, and we have indicated, right, that this x y pixel here, 116 pixels, pixels right, 156 pixels down, corresponds to this latitude, longitude. Same thing for this uh, bottom right corner is this uh, latitude and this longitude. So you can even enter more points. So now uh, this reference here plus that bitmap will allow me to know exactly hey, what is the location of that map. So I'm now going to use one of my favorite tools called Global Mapper to import this uh, map file and to put it exactly in the right uh, location on the globe basically. Global Mapper. Okay, okay. Alright, Global Mapper is, is again an evaluation version, very nice thing, you can do a lot of things with this tool. Okay, so I'm going to open this map file now, you can open all kinds of files from this uh, utility, one will be those. map files. Okay, so here you can see it actually that uh, if you zoom in a little bit that this now has been imported and now we are, I mean, looking at more than a map. We are, I'm going to reduce the grid a little bit because I've put a too fine grid on top of this. So let me uh, put the grid uh, like every one minute. Okay, this is a little better. So so now basically this program is able to understand, I've drawn a grid on top of this, every uh, line here is a minute, so this, all these uh, quarters here basically, all these cells basically will be one mile horizontal, one mile vertical. Alright, so say now let's go back to the guest house, right? So Mamanduru, I have to go a little bit higher towards the Kodur site, Voila. here was basically the place that I wanted to know exactly the coordinates of. So what I can do now is I can zoom a little bit more maybe to go a little precise. Take the hand here. Well, this location along the Jeep trail here, I can just put my cursor here now and if you look down you will see the exact locations of uh, the guest house, right? So I'm still looking at the same bitmap now but I have what we call georeference this bitmap so I know exactly uh, the location of every point on this uh, imported or this scanned paper map, whatever, wherever you get it from. So this is how we can get an exact fix on the location and this will really help us to find this uh, place back once we're in the middle of nowhere there. Because typically on these mountains there's a lot of vegetation there so you will not have really a clear view uh, where to, uh, I mean, to basically see far ahead of you and find these places in, in the jungle. Uh, how are we doing on the time? <laughs> I think. For a minute, yeah. So I, I'm.